This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. Women need to feel as though there are other women competing for your attention in order to have stronger desire for you. That's just really the bottom line of how attraction works. And a lot of men don't like to hear that because they think that either dating other women at the same time or making a woman feel as though he's potentially seeing somebody else is game playing and it's not something that they want to do. And yet time and time again, I have men that write me or men whose posts I see on various forums that talk about how they're dating a woman and how she has other guys that she's seeing and he's let her know that he's not seeing anybody else and then it starts to die out. And it's happened so many times that I'm surprised men have yet to see it. So we have another guy here that's going through a situation. I'm going to stop along the way to give some critiques. So he's 31, she's 29, and he says, I met someone on Hinge over two months ago. Early on, we both mentioned that we're looking for a long-term relationship, and I told her about intentions. I don't know why he was even bringing that up so early on in the dating process, because the reality is, while you may be thinking, I'm gonna tell a girl about my intentions so she knows that I want something long-term with her and that I'm dating her to try to get into a long-term thing. The reality is that a woman early on in the dating phase has not made that decision about you. And so for as long as she has not made that decision yet about you, you bringing up things like intentions and futures together is only going to make her feel as though she's being forced to have to choose you, even though at this early stage of the dating process, she could still be dating other people and also trying to vet them. And that may be something that you might not wanna hear. You might not wanna hear that it's okay for a woman to be choosing, exercising her options early on in the dating process. But the reality is, in order for her to be more solidified in you as her dating choice, she needs to at times go out there to see what else is going on. Because if it's between you and another dude, that is now a contest to her of which one of these guys is A, gonna be a bit more indifferent, B, not be so needy, and C, is gonna actually turn me on by showing masculine traits. You as a guy trying to talk about future and intentions are things that in most women's heads are things that women do. So when you do this stuff early on, you're already starting to lose. Continuing, he says, we've been meeting almost every week, about once a week, good, but I've been the one to initiate dates and activities. That's typically how it's going to go, especially during those first three months. Now, to be fair, the more, the higher interest that a woman has, the more likely she's going to be to around date four or five say, hey, I got an idea for a date. Hey, come over to my place. I'll make some food for you. Or you know what? You've been so wonderful. I want to take us out bowling. Like the higher a woman's interest is, that will happen. But this also speaks to during these various dates, how are you presenting yourself? I can tell you now, based on the fact that he's already talking about futures and intentions, that I imagine a lot of the conversations they're having on these dates are things like, so are you having a good time? Where do you see this going? How close are you to wanting to choose me? And if those are the kind of conversations that are happening, those are things that are going to make a woman want to delay her decision. Because again, you cannot negotiate or force your way into making a woman feel stronger feelings for you than she has at any given time. But what you can do is make those feelings get less by trying to bring things up as it pertains to future emotions, being together, etc., to where her emotion can start to dissipate altogether. So be mindful of that, gentlemen. Don't be the guy that's on dates talking about feelings and doing all this lovey-dovey stuff. Because again, women are viewing that as hey, that's things that I as the woman should be doing. Is that fair? It is not. I wish in today's society, you as a guy could talk about your feelings and talk about future speak and all these things. But the reality is, since that turns off the majority of women, then the reality you live in is that you should not be doing those things. So then he says, additionally, I always pay. She's only offered to pay once. I've taken her to cafes, restaurants, day trips, movies, and escape rooms. I always try to do something new. I will say the day trips, it's, it's, those first three months are very critical in terms of the kind of dates that you're doing. Uh, in my program, the Introvert Dating Success Academy community, I actually go over things like this, like you doing day trips, vacations, concerts, things that cost a lot of money in the beginning. Those are not things 
that are going to win you over with women. They're nice activities and women will partake and they like them, but those are things that also stress to her that you're already viewing this as a relationship. And again, sorry to say, guy, it doesn't matter what you're feeling or where you're at because you're gonna always move or internally move at a faster pace than she is as it pertains to analyzing her, making your determination that she's a good match and then having feelings develop. That's gonna more likely than not happen a lot faster in you. And this is why I try to tell you guys that it's perfectly fine to not show all that because by, by week three or four, you're gonna already be thinking, I want this chick, I want her for the girlfriend, why am I bull crapping? And the majority of women all right, the end of that first month, already thinking, it's been a good time. I need to see some more consistency to make sure this is still gonna be good, but I'm having a good time so far, all right? Even if they're giving you the hookups, even if they're saying things like, I can see a future with you, them verbalizing it is not the same thing as them strongly feeling that to where they see it was the only guy. So until we get to that point, things like day trips or high-end concerts or really fancy restaurants should not be happening. It's not gonna win them over, it's not. So then he says, uh, she recently got out of a long-term relationship and is still in touch with her ex-boyfriend as she looks after his car, which makes me question whether she's really over him. So at the point that you discover that a woman that you're dating has an ex somewhere in her life, sitting in the background, in this case, she actively looks after his car, which as a woman that is now broken up with a guy she should no longer be responsible for, this is where you as the guy say, I can't take her seriously as a long-term girlfriend until that situation is resolved. In my Introvert Dating Success Academy program, I talk about during the negotiation phase, the things you need to be negotiating that are gonna work for you to take this from being just a dating scenario to a relationship scenario. One of those things could be, hey, so before we become super serious, do you currently have any exes or ex-boyfriends or ex-lovers that you are still friends with, that you follow on social media, that are still in the background in your life somewhere? If the answer is yes, at that point, you got a decision to make, which is, do you continue to see her and try to make her the girlfriend? Or do you just say, you know what, that's cool, it is what it is, let's just keep doing things the way we are and not call it anything, because Whatever you agree to during the negotiation phase of, a, of getting to a relationship, that is what is now okay. You can't say it's fine for her to have exes around in the background and then get into a relationship and then be like, hey, so now that we're boyfriend or girlfriend, you need to leave that guy. No, 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 no. She should have gotten rid of him before any kind of relationship scenario was promised. So in this situation, at the point that I found that out, I wouldn't have taken her seriously. And if she wanted to get into something serious, I would then have the conversation of, well, let me ask you a question because I'm not gonna get stuck with a woman that has an ex in the background. So then he says, I'm starting to wonder if she's truly interested in me as she re recently told me that she's still dating another guy whom she meets every week. She told me she would decide on whom to be exclusive with depending on who she develops feelings for. Now here's the thing, that is going to be true of all women. Women are gonna decide to date you or the other guy that they may be seeing based on how she feels. But the real question is, how did this conversation come up? Because he says, she recently told me she's still dating another guy and that she decided blah, 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 which leads me to believe that what he said to her was, hey, so are you seeing any other people? Or so, are you? it's been two months, are you ready to choose me? This is why, by the way, I, you know, women will fight me on this when I, when I say to guys that they are the ones, the women are, gonna, are the ones that should come to us asking for a relationship. But part of that is because of this. Because when we as men go to women and say, hey, so we should be in a relationship, the posturing of that is one of a person that's coming from a weaker positioning. Because you're essentially going to a woman and saying, you know what? I'm not sure if this is working so far because I'm not getting reads from you that indicate that I have enough value for you to want to date me. So now I'm asking you to please let me know that I have value so that way I can feel assured that this is going to go somewhere. And none of that posturing is making her feel like you have confidence or that you're strong in knowing that you are the right person. And that essentially puts her in the lead. 
And women aren't trying to be the leaders. Most women aren't trying to wear the pants in a relationship. The ones that typically do end up resenting it later, regardless of whatever feminist crack you may have heard. Like most women at large, even if they wanna be in charge out in the work world, at home, they're not trying to make all the decisions at work and at home. They're just not, on, a, on, an, average, on an average situation, right? And so, yeah, so this is why you going to her typically looks weak. But more importantly, this is also speaking to her on another level, which is her getting the intel that you don't have any other prospects. Because a guy that had other prospects wouldn't be going to her in the first place to get self-assured that he was the right guy for her. Because what she wants, subconsciously in her head, is for you to choose her based on the other options you have around you and deciding that she's the best one. Which means she, in turn, wants to be able to prove to you why she's the one you should pick. This is not a thing that can happen, though, if you are the one going to her saying, so what are we, are in a relationship, what's going on? That puts her in the choosing position. Now think about this. Women at large have a hard enough time when you ask them, hey, what do you want for dinner? What do you want to eat? What do you want for lunch? More often than not, what do they come back with? Well, I don't know, you decide. Oh, I can't make a decision. Why don't you pick for us? So even on that little example right there, women are telling you, I want you to make the choice based on the best options you have available. That is also true when they're dating. They don't wanna think that you're their only option because they're gonna be thinking, well, what if a better option comes along? Or well, how does he know for sure that I'm his absolute best match? Versus if they just have the feeling idea that you might have other options out there, that you might possibly have your eyes open to other prospects, that's gonna make them bring their A game and make them have to bring things to the table and also will have them coming to you saying things like, so are you seeing anybody else? Cause I'm not seeing anybody else and we've been dating for a while. So what do you think we should be doing? What are we? My friends are wondering when you're gonna choose me. So they won't say it like that, but the intention they're gonna give is when are you gonna choose me? Why aren't I chosen yet? Because for their ego, they get fed, their ego gets fed knowing that a guy chose them. They can't get that feed or that read if you're the one that's asking them to choose you. It's not the way this works, okay? So this is why it's better for you as a guy to actually either A, actually have other options that you're dating at the time, or B, carry yourself in a way that says, I like you, but I'm indifferent to if we work out. If this does not work out, I know I can go out there and find somebody else. That is the way that I walk in the world, so where when I'm dating somebody, I'm not completely hung up on them or trying to overly obsess with them. I keep an even head. I care for the women that I date. I'm like immensely involved, and I'm dating and showing love and care and trust, but I always have it also that like, I want this to work out, but it doesn't have to work out. It would be lovely if this were to be a thing long-term, but if not, I know I can go out there the next day, I can go to a networking event, a party, a friend social gathering online, and I can find somebody else to date that will eventually work out, you know? But that speaks to having to have things like confidence and whatnot, and there's ways to build that that I go over extensively in my Introvert Dating Success Academy community, which you can check out at introvertdatingsuccess.com. So then he continues on and says, while she and I have only kissed, she does initiate a lot of physical contact with me and sends me messages frequently. I have not had sex with her as I want to do it only if we're exclusive. Hey, I'm all for if you wanna wait until you're actually in something or do something, that is your decision, bravo. Look at the signal she's sending you. She's initiating physical contact. She's sending you messages. These are the passive ways that women send signals to you that they are actually interested in you, okay? So yes, you're hearing she's potentially dating somebody else and dating you, but she's giving you these physical clues and these messages that indicate to her, to, that she's trying to send to you that indicate, hey buddy, I'm actually building on my interest. It might take a little bit of time, but it is slowly but surely building, you know? And I get it, some guys will come in here and say, but Harry, the chads of the world, they can get it growing like one or two dates and blah, blah, blah. Well, the reality is most guys aren't gonna be chads or alphas, and so, for, for those guys, it's going to take a little bit of time, but the end outcome is the woman will build that strong interest and she will be interested long term, okay? You trying to rush that just because a Chad or an Alpha could do it is not going to win you points with her or potentially allow you to get with her because you're going to trip over yourself, miss steps, and you're not really fully seeing what those Chads and Tyrones and stuff are actually doing to hit at those women's core. So for you, you can, hey, I teach plenty of that too. I'm like how to be that guy that's gonna be able to get a girl to hook up with you on a first date and a first kiss. But 
for the majority of situations, you're, you're, you're either that guy that can't do that or there's also women out there that don't wanna rush the process also. They wanna take their time. Even with the Chads and Tyrones, they wanna be like, well wait, I know he's played other women, I wanna take my time. That's a real thing as well too, you know? Just something to consider. So then he says, last night while we were walking together, I held her hand, but she seemed uncomfortable after a few minutes. I asked her if she was comfortable holding hands and she said she didn't want to hold hands, keeping her hands in her pockets instead. That's not a good sign. But what that tells me is that because for the past two months, you've potentially been a little needy and maybe uh, telling a bit too much about your feelings, a little bit too much about seeing a future with her, that now she's feeling like she's stuck. She feels like she doesn't want to hurt your feelings, but she's forced to be with you because she's already been with you up to this point. But her body language at this point is, is going to be your best tell. If she's not wanting to hold your hand, that's low level tear touching. That's already a bad sign. But that indicates that you've been doing a lot of the wrong things that have resulted in her being turned off. No bueno. So then he says, I'm beginning to develop feelings for her. Wrong. You've been developing feelings since the first time you met her. It's two months in and your feelings are going overboard and you don't know how to contain them. So you're trying to get them all out and explain to her why it is you guys should be together and if she's chosen you yet. And that's how she's able to read that you don't have it all together. And a guy that doesn't have it all together is not going to be able to keep women around long term. So then he says, uh, I, I begin to develop feelings for her and, then told, and I told her, I'm beginning to develop feelings for her and told her that I've stopped seeing other women. Never do that. Unless they ask for the information, there's no need for you to volunteer that kind of stuff. Because again, she likes the idea that other women potentially are clamoring after you, but that you're the one choosing her over all those women. That feels better than, oh, I have no other options now, you're it especially when she has not got her feelings to that level yet. So then he says, I then asked her how long she intends to date the other guy before making a decision, but she couldn't give me an answer. Again, this is not one of those things that you can negotiate or try to talk out of women. The reality is they're gonna date you and date those other guys until they feel more of a connection with either you or the other person. Guys get tripped up by that and think, I gotta make sure I'm doing all these things and rush her to feeling things so she'll wanna choose me. And that's just not, at least, at least I found, that is not typically the best way for you to attract women. It's, if anything, it's the best way for you to get to lose women. And I talk about that extensively in my book, No Girls For You, The Ultimate Guide to Losing the Girl of Your Dreams, which you can get as part of the Introvert Dating Success Academy community. Check that out at the website. So anyway, then he says, I just don't want to date her for six months only to be told she's choosing someone else. I feel like a second option. Most of our dates have been on weekdays, in the evenings, and we've only met once on a weekend. I always pick her up and drop her off, but she has never once invited me inside. My interest in her is starting to fade. Is two plus months not enough time to get clarity on moving forward to something exclusive? Well, the problem is you're thinking after two months that it's your job to seek out clarity. What I'm telling you is if you are doing more of the right things and the wrong things during those first two months, i.e. you're taking her out, you're showing a good time, you're letting her come to you at times, you're not trying to press an agenda, like you're not, you as the guy should never be the one trying to press that this thing that we're doing has to be called a relationship or this thing has to be moving towards a future or else you're just wasting my time or I don't wanna be around you for six months and this still we think. But see the thing, guys start getting worried after two months like, oh my God, it's been two months and she hasn't said anything about being in a relationship. This is going nowhere. I, I can't take it anymore. Oh my God, I gotta, I gotta ask her. Now, I tell you guys, it takes two to three months. I remember I dated a woman one time and it was like 90 days exactly. We went out, had a good dinner, went back to a hotel, had a good time, and then the next morning, nothing. She didn't ask me about a relationship, she didn't ask me about what we are, nothing, right? So I'm thinking at this point, okay, it's been three months, she has not mentioned at all about what are we, are we in a relationship, nothing. What do I do, what do I do? And I said to myself, you know what? It, it might take four months. Like maybe it'll take four months, but you just know that you know that you know that if you bring it up, it's not gonna happen. If you ask and she's not there yet, this thing's over, right? So I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna just, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna follow my mantra. She'll come to me, she'll let me know. Until she brings up, what are we? I'll leave it alone. 
the next day. Hey, Harry, so had a good time, blah, 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 blah. So I just wanted to meet up with you and have a talk. Me and ever talk, okay. Hey, so what's it like? So like, so like, what are we? Like my friends are asking, we just wanna know what's going on, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so she needed a three months and two days, but we ended up getting into a relationship and we dated each other for like a good five or six years, right? So I say this to say, guys, is that I, I keep trying to press this, press this to you guys. Maybe you're new to my work or you haven't had the chance to actually test out some of the things that I talk about, all right? But I can assure you, when women have a high interest in you, when they spent two to three months with you, when they've spent time and gotten to know you and are feeling things, and more importantly, you haven't been doing the feminine energy leaning things like asking what are we or are you seeing other people, this is that, and you're showing all these insecurities, that two or three months is all it typically takes for them to come to you and start asking those questions. If you have not experienced that, it's probably because you have not had the patience to be able to wait that two to three months, all right? This guy's at month two plus, and he's already freaking out to where she's now not wanting to hold hands, not wanting to kiss him. He's asking her, like, when are you gonna make a decision and what's going on? And all that pressure is not going to make women be like, oh, he's pressuring me. You know what? I do wanna choose him. I'm gonna decide to date him right now. That's just not how women work. So again, if you want better results, be more patient, wait for them to come to you and ask for the relationship, and you will find that it'll be a lot easier. But in the meantime, also do not be that guy that's just sitting around twiddling your thumbs waiting. Again, the energy you're giving off is that you have no other options and that no other women want you. You need to get that stank off you. You need to get out there and still be on the dating apps, still going to parties, still meeting new people. And I know for guys, it's like backwards. Like if I want this girl, why would I go out there to seek out other girls? And for women, it's about the feeling. They like the feeling of being chosen. If they start to feel as though you could potentially choose somebody else, they don't like that feeling. And But making them feel that feeling can make them think, oh crap, why do I feel that I'm annoyed by him potentially having other options. Oh my God, it's because I probably like him. And then you'll be amazed that they'll come to you and say, hey, so are you seeing anybody else? Because I don't want that, I want you to date somebody else. Like it really could be that simple, but again, maybe you're a guy that just hasn't had enough experience and you need guidance on that kind of stuff, you can go to introvertdatingsuccess.com, check out my eBooks, my audiobooks, and my Introvert Dating Success Academy community, which has a plethora a plethora of programs that are all designed to help you be more confident, less anxious, and have a legitimate logical pathway to go from meeting a woman to actually getting into a relationship. So check that out at the website. That's all I got for today, guys. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Be sure to give this video a like, a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.